Hey guys, this is Jam of Jamaonline.ph and today we got here something new and it's not a smartphone but it's from Huawei, yes, and it's the Huawei MateBook D 15 inch. Yes, they do have a laptop, it's running on Windows and this time it's the, it's the MateBook D and uh, it's kind of different. Why is it different? Well, we do have some cool and unique features like the fingerprint scanner and the amazing 87% screen to body ratio. But the most interesting um, part here is that this, this laptop is running on Ryzen 3500U processor with 8 gigs of RAM. I know some laptops already have that, but it's the first time that Huawei use a Ryzen CPU for their laptops because previously most of their laptops are running on Intel processor. So, what are we waiting for? So let's unbox and let's take a closer look at the Huawei MateBook D 15 inch. Alright, so I didn't know that there was the uh, specifications over here. So this one comes with a uh, space gray color. Uh, we also got your Ryzen 5 3500U CPU. Uh, and as expected, we got here a Radeon Vega 8 graphics, which performs pretty well. I, I believe this one performs at around like the NVIDIA MX150 or MX130. But it's definitely better than most Intel processors that, um, that are available in the market right now. I'm not sure about the 10th generation though. So we also got here an 8 gig of RAM and 256 gigs of uh, SSD with one terabyte hard disk. And of course, there's the 15.6 um, display. So time to unbox this one. So yes, we do have a large box in here. I'm really excited to unbox this laptop. Okay, so there are no perks in the box. It's just the laptop over here, of course. Let's remove the uh, styrofoam first. Okay. So we got here the notebook. There we go. It's the notebook over here. And of course, we got here the quick start guide and also the warranty card. Nothing so special about that. I almost forgot there's actually a small box in here. It actually houses the uh, charger. Which is, by the way, a USB-C to USB-C charger. And Huawei is proud that this charger can charge your Huawei notebook and also your Huawei smartphone like the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and also your other Huawei tablets. Right, so it's a pretty big uh, charger. So this one comes with a uh, 65 watts, I believe. Yeah, it's a 65 watts charger. And um, this one supports up to 20 volts uh, with 3.25 um, amperes and then of course it also supports 10 watts charging 18 watts charging 24 watts charging even uh, 45 watts charging uh, as long as your smartphone supports that one i mean i believe this one supports 40 or 45 watts charging so yeah pretty cool then of course we got here the uh usb-c to usb-c cable so there we go it's a usb-c to usb-c cable and thankfully this one is Kind of useful and it's already, uh, oh, there we go. This one is actually long enough and um, it actually reminds me of the MacBook charger. We have a single brick charger in here, plug it in here, USB-C, the other one is USB-C, so yeah, it's reversible. The thing that I like about this one, it's clean, it's better for me that the power brick is uh, at the end instead in the middle. It's actually a hassle for most laptops. But yeah, you've seen the charger, you've seen everything. Now, let's take a look at the Huawei MateBook D 15 inch. There we go. Time to remove that one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this one. This one is beautiful. It's actually 15.6 inch. It isn't that heavy because according to the specifications, it's actually uh, 1.62 kilograms. It's actually pretty light for a 15 inch uh, notebook. This one also comes with the SSD and also the hard disk. So yeah, we got the... Uh, 256 gig SSD and also the one terabyte hard disk. So below we could see here that we got here the NTC certification, the windows and everything. We got here the grills below. So as you can see, we got here the grills. The fan is actually placed in here. There's a single fan for that. So uh, we also got here the speaker grills and also the rubber feet. Rubber feet. And yeah, uh, when it comes to ports, this one is actually kind of complete, kind of. So we got here the USB-C that can be used for charging and also for other stuff and of course we got here the USB A port it actually I actually doesn't I actually don't know if this one supports USB 3.0 so let's check the specifications and yes we do have a single USB 3.0 on this one and there's the uh, two times uh, USB 2.0 I'm not sure which is which 
but I believe this one is the USB uh, 3.0 and then of course you got here the HDMI on the other side we got here the uh, headphone jack and also the two USB 2.0 ports I believe unfortunately there's no SD card reader on this one there's no micro SD card on this one so you need to buy a dongle for that or probably just a you know some cheap SD card reader that you can buy out anywhere this one is made up of aluminum i do like the body of this one the one that we got comes in space gray color and it isn't that massive uh, i'll tell you why later but you can see here that's a 15.6 inch uh, laptop we got a clean and look a uh, clean look on this one we got the huawei logo over here the metal body is just beautiful we do not have oh there's some uh, hollow feeling on this one but it doesn't bother me that much it still feels uh it feels very sturdy it feels very solid and once you open this one oh wow oh wow okay so uh you can see here that uh there's the icon for the camera the fingerprint scanner and also the uh, charger i'm gonna place it over here first so you can see here that this is the huawei mate book d 15 inch and look at that it's actually beautiful there are, there are only a few stickers on this one you got here the ryzen 5 logo on this one because this one runs on ryzen 5 3500 u processor we got here the huawei share we got here the pretty good touchpad it's actually a pretty big touchpad and then we got here a full-size keyboard with no numpad the power button also serves as the fingerprint sensor for this uh, for the laptop so you don't need to use your password anymore because you got that fingerprint scan this one is made for people who are very productive who are always in the office i believe i think that's their target market and with the ryzen 5 processor with 8 gigs of ram i'm pretty sure that this one can handle most um tasks that you need on your office at school and this one can probably run most games like overwatch i'm not sure with pubg but i believe they can run PUBG and some other games probably Witcher 3 because this one runs on Vega 8 I've seen benchmarks before of the Vega 8 GPU with the Ryzen 5 3500U it's not a perfect processor it it's kind of like the Intel um, Core i5 8250U but this one is kind of well I mean I like the performance of um, that I've seen in the internet though I have to review this one first and to see it firsthand but yeah the design of this one and the hardware of this one is pretty cool so you can see here the uh design we got here the full-size keyboard oh wow okay so the travel distance of this one isn't that um uh, isn't that bad actually it's pretty good actually um you can see here i'm not sure if you could see that but uh the keys are um, very small and use travel distance yeah and it's actually pretty good it doesn't rem it actually reminds me of the uh macbook pro 15 inch but this one has a Oh wow, I actually prefer the keyboard of this one than the MacBook Pro 15 inch. Alright, I'm charging the laptop right now because this one has a brain battery. So uh, let's charge it first and let's see how does this one look. I mean, the display and everything. Alright, so I've set up the Huawei MateBook D15 inch. As you can see here, the wallpaper is similar to the one at the back, my desktop. But we do have some cool features in here. So this one runs on Windows 10. Yes, the basic Windows 10 that we're running on your PCs and notebooks. But this one comes with this application. Actually, this is the only application that is pre-installed in the laptop, which I really like because I don't want any pre-installed applications on my new no notebook. So yeah, we got here the PC manager. And as you can see, I've connected my Huawei Mate 30 Pro to the Huawei MateBook D15 inch so um, before that I'm gonna show you the uh, PC so basically um, the PC manager is like the phone manager that's available in your smartphone it optimizes the resources optimizes the storage optimizes your usage of your smartphone by deleting or by you know updating everything that you need on the PC as you can see here two drivers to update you can see here the CPU usage and also the memory usage of the notebook that is pretty cool although i can see that in my task manager so i could also do a hardware check if everything is working perfectly you can see here the uh, ryzen uh, cpu the motherboard the ram and everything the bluetooth and everything is here so it's fine so we could also check out the driver so as you can see here i need to update my driver so there are the um, available updates for wi-fi and bluetooth actually i like this feature as uh, most windows 10 devices tend to not have an update or an outdated driver so it's really nice to see to, uh, that we're gonna see which devices or which hardware inside the notebook isn't updated 
And of course, you got here the uh, my services, the manual and the common issues that you won't probably read or use. Then of course, we got here the my phone. So you can see here that I've connected my Huawei Mate 30 Pro. The thing that I like about in here is that the Huawei Mate 30 Pro can um, can easily connect to this one by just scanning. All you need to do is to turn on the, your Bluetooth and also your Wi-Fi or your NFC on the uh, Huawei Mate 30 Pro, and you can scan it on the notebook and easily there's a notification that will appear on the smartphone in where you could connect easily to the notebook it's actually even um easier than connecting my iphone to my macbook anyway um one of the things that i like in here is that i could do a multi-screen collaboration what does that mean you can see here that i'm on my uh, home screen on my huawei mate 30 pro and by just pressing the uh multi-screen collaboration you can see that the screen of my smartphone is already here this one is actually perfect for those people who wants to um you know continue their productivity on their smartphone they don't want to look at their smart uh, they, they want to do their productivity work on their notebooks and they don't want to look at their smartphones this one is perfect okay i'm not sure when it comes to streaming but so far i like uh the latency of this one this one is kind of okay when it comes to latency there we go there are not much lags on this one i believe huawei has uh, it's not perfected but they did a pretty good job when it comes to syncing their smartphones to the notebooks and of course you could also do a photo backup and video backup if you wanted to but the most interesting thing about this notebook is that we can actually transfer some files actually we're in the gallery right now you can see here i could actually transfer some files by just tapping the smartphone over here so we're gonna transfer this file there we go we just transferred uh, a screenshot of my game on pubg mobile to the laptop that easy imagine if you need to transfer some of your files that you or documents that you just downloaded or take a pic picture of using your huawei mate 30 pro you could easily transfer that to the huawei matebook d that's a really nice feature yes but there's a cool feature too on the notebook as you can see here we got here uh the 87 percent screen to body ratio this one doesn't have the perfect display it actually isn't the perfect display that i've seen on a 15.6 inch laptop it's a full hd display that's fine with me although it's not the sharpest one the colors aren't the best one and it isn't that bright compared to i believe the huawei matebook that is available in the market right now but the thing here is that you can see here that uh, we got here very minimal bezels you can see that very minimal bezels at the side very minimal bezels at the top very minimal bezels on the side then uh we got here the huawei logo still some minimal bezels below okay what's so cool about that is that we do not have a webcam over here because the webcam of the huawei matebook d is actually placed in here all you need to do is to press this button and you can see that uh there's the huawei's um webcam over there so yeah it's actually uh very private if you want to have if you're concerned about privacy this one would be pretty good as this one has a um, camera that is placed under the keyboard of the laptop the problem in here is that yeah when you play something if when you're typing your hands will block the camera but as you can see if i'm just in my conference room you could see that the camera will do just fine it isn't the best quality that i've seen on a notebook but yeah it's really um it's just a fine webcam that you can use for your conference however if you're planning on using it on streaming you know well i suggest that you don't because this one you know you can see my neck over here my neck isn't fat really on this webcam but yeah what i'm talking about is that um this one is made for conference not for gaming or streaming if you're into that just go buy a pc or gaming notebook aside from that we also got here the shortcuts for the brightness as you can see here, only to press FN. There we go. Yeah, there's a LED for the FN, and you can turn down or turn up the brightness. We also got here the uh, button to turn off the microphone. We also got here the button to, you know, uh, do this, the project screen. I mean, all notebooks has that. We also got here a button to turn on or turn off the Wi-Fi. That's a pretty cool feature. Then, of course, there's a shortcut too for the PC manager. And of course, the F11 is also the print screen button and the F12 is also the insert button. Overall, the notebook is a pretty nice notebook. Aesthetically, I love the look of the Huawei MateBook Z. I mean, the design is kind of MacBook-ish, but I prefer the keyboard of this one. The touchpad is kind of big. 
I prefer to have big touchpad. I mean, yeah, I could navigate easier and it, it, it performs pretty well when it comes to the touchpad. And yeah, the keyboard is really nice. The um, recessed camera over here on the keyboard is a unique feature, but for uh, people who wants to have their more to have a more privacy, if you're worried about hacking, well, your camera is secured. We got the ports that we need on, on this one. However, we do not have a micro SD or SD card slot. The display isn't the best one, but overall, I'm pretty fine with it. It's a Ryzen 3500U. Um, we have to test it out. We have to benchmark it so we'll know the performance of this one. We'll probably make a review of this one at jamonline.ph. So be sure to check that out. And yeah, we got a fingerprint scanner. That is pretty cool. So overall, I do like the notebook. Unfortunately, we do not have the price of the notebook yet. Uh, as of this recording, this, this notebook hasn't been launched in the Philippines, but it's a pretty cool notebook with some cool features. So yeah, I guess that's it for our hands-on and unboxing of the Huawei MateBook D. It's a cool notebook. The Ryzen 3500U is a cool processor, I believe, um, based on most reviews. I'm really interested on this one. The design of this one is very, very good. I mean, I do like the aluminum body. The keyboard is nice. The recessed camera is really nice. The full view display with an 87% screen to body ratio is really nice. And yeah, look at that. I like the color of this one. And for Huawei smartphone users, I believe they can take advantage of the uh, Huawei Share um, feature you could do your um, work on your notebook without uh, looking at your phone since the display is actually mirroring uh, the display of the smartphone is mirroring to the um, laptop and we got a cool USB-C to USB-C charger that you can use for your notebook and also for your smartphones and also for your tablets as long as it's Huawei so I guess that's it for our video so don't forget to check out um, our other videos here at Jam Online YouTube channel of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video and and yeah, check out the links below for our social media page, Facebook groups, and everything. So once again, I'm John of JumpOnline.ph. Thank you for watching. See you guys again on my next video. Peace.